Hello everyone, this is Billy. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. I am so excited. I was very surprised when Estoyo, I think that's how you say it, contacted me just last week and asked me if I would promote one of their products. And I said, of course, of course I will. And this is what they sent me. It's a beautiful 36 color set of mica powders. Look at that. I am so pleased with these. There is every color of the rainbow in here. They're beautiful. I haven't opened them yet. Pardon the wrinkly paper, but that's a substantial amount. 10 grams or 25 mils in each bottle. Those are gorgeous. Estoyo, thank you so much. I hope I can do you proud because I have an idea to showcase most all of these colors. And I'm going to take them out of the plastic and set them up um, maybe in a rainbow type of setup because timing was perfect. Timing was perfect. I had saved up some of my band money because I wanted to treat myself to something very special, and I did. I ordered some molds from Julie. I ordered some molds from Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out. Look at this beauty. This is massive. This is beautiful. I have watched her use this bubble mold um, many times. She has the coasters and the medium size, and this is a large size. And I don't remember what she said in, in you know, millimeters, because I, I don't know that language. But this is just 12 and a half inches across. This is big. I want to try my hand at a bowl. I really want to try a bowl. So I didn't just get this mold. I got the medium one, and I got the coasters, too. I'm so excited, but... Yes, I've been saving for these, and Julie, thank you so much. I hope I can um, make you proud, and if you've watched this video, I'm going to personally thank you because I haven't done that yet. Um, I did get these off of her eBay site, and I do have that link. So I'm going to put you on pause, and I'm going to unwrap all these colors and see if I can't line them up into some kind of a rainbow and see if I can't brush in all the different mica powders in that particular mold. So I will be right back with you. Well, I just emptied the box and I thought I would turn it over and let you uh, know what it says here. It says, Estoyo mica powder is available in a wide range of vibrant colors and you get 36 vibrant, unique colors each in one bottle at 0.35 ounces or 10 grams everything you need to create bright and beautiful crafts use with a resin stirrer to avoid clumping of mica oh my goodness read belly use a resin stirrer to avoid clumping of mica powder at high speed making your work more uniform in color um, there is a guarantee and uh, I'm, I'm just beside myself looking at all of these colors so, before I start arranging, I, I there's blacks in here. There's there's pearl black, there's silver gray, and silver black. And our background is going to be a black resin. And I'm going to brush these on. I'm not going to mix them. So with what I have left, 33 colors, and I think I'll eliminate the white. This is magic. Oh, it says magic red. <gasps> Oh, there's some of those in here. What's this white one? Magic gold. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Is there a magic silver? Oh, that's bright white. What do we have? Magic violet. Oh, these are... Bright white. I think that's it. I think that's it for the magic colors. 
Ooh, I might use those, but I think for now, oh, I can see the, I can see the purple in the shadow, or the, in the light. All right, red, gold, and violet. There might be something else in there. So anyway, I'm going to line these up and see how I want to use them. And if I'm loud, I just spoke into the microphone, I'm sorry, or on my phone, but I'll be right back. Okay, boy, they're beautiful colors. I'm going to use all 33 out of the 36. The, thir the three that I put aside is the black, the silver, and the gray. I'm going to use those, uh, what did we call them? The magic colors, the gold, red, and purple. So there are 33 bubbles on the outer edge. So I'm just going to go one at a time all the way around. We're going to, you know, have to eliminate as we go on the inside and we'll just see what, what happens. That's the only, uh, pattern I can think of, or just, you know, we could take all the blues and do just all blue, or we could do all green, or we could do all pink, but I think I want to do every color and see how they turn out. So I'm going to get started. Um, I didn't open them all, so it's going to be a little time consuming. I'm just going to start with my white and I've got a fruit fly in here. I'm just going to start my little white brush. I don't know which would work better, but these moles are so nice and sturdy. I'm hoping they'll take the mica powder real well. So I'm just going to get started and I will definitely get started and fast forward through all of this because it's going to take me a bit and I'm not ready to go to bed yet. I should, but I'm not. So I'll just try to stay away from the mold itself and I'm just going to start with the bright white. Mm -hmm. to colors that are so close to each other like these two golds I'm going to go ahead and pull one out of the lineup so that'll get rid of one that's pretty similar so we're going to have to as we go along oh they're so pretty oh I didn't do that one very well actually I guess I need to look at my angles a little better I'm not getting the, all the all the way around the left sides here. I hope this is the right one. Well, no, it's the other one. Yeah, I gotta. I have to be more careful next time we come around. I'll have to fix those. So anyway, just keep on going. coffee. Okay everyone, I'm just going to keep going and I will come back in maybe when I make a couple more rounds and I will see you later. All right. Have a good evening. Those are similar but different. Bye. I'm back everyone for a minute. Oh my goodness. I went through all 33 colors circling the outside of this mold. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? I have to clean up my edges. That's going to be a bit of a chore, but from the purples to the blue, greens into the blues. There's the yellows and the golds into the pinks. Into the, not too many reds. Well, the reds and pinks there, but anyway, um, I've eliminated a couple that looked similar. There wasn't too many, but I'm going to start again and go around where I started um, I did notice now some of these colors say flash and the ones that say flash or is it finish uh, yes it's flash they have more of a glitter to them like this blue for instance down here so the ones with a little more glitter 
the name has the word flash in front of it. Like this is flash blue. Anyway, I noticed that while I was going around. I'm going to clean my brush with some alcohol real quick and make another sweep around. We'll see what that looks like when I'm done with that, okay? It's, oh, it's just everything I was hoping it would be. These colors are fabulous. It'll be interesting to see what they look like mixed in the resin. And this is just being brushed on. So I'm sure the background with black will just top it off. We'll see how well I can do. All right. Take good care. I'm going to keep going. Hello, everyone. Here we are. I didn't stop and record part of this. I just kept on going. It took a bit, but look at that. Aren't these beautiful? I did eliminate some as I went around um, the ones that were similar. And I think this is absolutely stunning, these colors. Well, you know, they're beautiful right now. I imagine when we're done, this is going to be fabulous. So, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm just going to start the... This is where the fun begins. I've got a wet wipe. I've got some isopropyl alcohol. I have some in a little cup. I'm digging out the Q-tips or the swabs. I've got my uh, mini brushes. And uh, I'm just going to have some swabs. My micro brushes. I'm going to do my best to get in and around each one of these. It's going to take some time um, just to clean up the edges. And uh, oh, that's, what's, that's what I'll be doing. For the next several hours, I'm guessing. I worked on this, I can't recall. I mean, I got into the mode and just uh, finished most of it the first, first evening. And then I finished up the second day coloring. And uh, yes, it was a lot. It was a lot of work. But I think the outcome is going to be wonderful. So let me just show you easily. Cotton swab little alcohol, paper towel, or wipe, and we'll just start. I'll just, I'm just going to try and not erase any of the powders that I already have down. just want to get around those edges and clean them up the best I can. So, I will get back to you when we are ready to pour resin. Um, I did message Julie, and she was going to get back to me. Um, she's got so many videos out, and it's taken me two years, but I've watched every one of them. Um, so she's going to uh, get back to her videos. I could look, too. I just didn't find the time. But, uh, and find out how much resin this particular mold takes. So when I see you, I'll be ready to pour with some black resin and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. Well, hello everyone. Pardon the paper rattle, but here it is. This took me some time to color and clean all of my little edges around every one of these bubbles and what did I say there was 30 oh, I can't even remember how many bubbles there are but big bubbles little bubbles beautiful colors um I thank uh Estoyu for sending me these micas I had to take some cotton buds I dipped them in alcohol and I also used my little micro brushes and very carefully went all the way around and cleaned up all the excess mica powders. So, bit of a chore. Anyway, we're ready to pour resin. I can see a little piece of wood there. Okay, I'm going to go and pour approximately 16 ounces of resin, and we're going to color it black. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour, and I'll watch this most part of the day, because I want to make a bowl. I've never done a bowl so this is a first for um, myself and for you watching moi 
try to make a bowl. So let's see, see how that works out, okay? I'll be right back with you. And uh, I can come down a little lower just to get a good look at these blankets. Now, I'm going to jiggle you because this is, you know, I don't have an automatic thingy. If I jerk you, sorry. Uh-oh, come on. Go down. Here we go. Oh, gently. There they are. Aren't those gorgeous? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Hello, everyone. I'm ready to pour into that beautiful, beautiful mold. So, I had rewatched Julie's video, and she measures in grams, but I was able to, thanks to Google, find out that that mold takes 16 and a half ounces. So I went ahead and mixed up 18 ounces just to be sure. And while that's debubbling and it won't take long because this is the Let's Resin resin, I wanted to show you if you use this mixer from Let's Resin, um, what I normally do is when I'm through with it is I just have a little plastic silicone cup of isopropyl alcohol and I just stick that in there and give it a few spins and that helps get that resin off of those I guess you'd call them tines just let that spin a little bit and then I'll just go ahead and set it aside and let it sit in there until I'm ready to uh, clean up so that's just a little tidbit I discovered it works really well for me Okay, we're making black. Oh, look, I cleaned my mat off, too. We're making black resin. So, what's more appropriate than to go ahead and use pearl black, which came with that beautiful package of Astoyo resins. I mean, pardon me, micas, and I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Astoyo. So, I don't know where my little spoon went. Of course, I put it somewhere safe. Yes, I did. Oh, it's right. Oh, and I just spilled my alcohol. <laughs> God, let's see. It's always a good day. It's a good day. All right. So, here is the Pearl Black. Now, this has a little shimmer in it. I thought about going, you know, completely just plain black and let all the pearlescence of the mica show up on the plain black. But I thought, no. We're testing, we're seeing all the colors that Estoyo provided in that beautiful kit. Thank you so much for sending that to me. I surely appreciate it. Let's start with two spoonfuls and see. I should have just done a little at a time, but I keep forgetting that. I'll just go for it. Oh, that's very pretty. That's a gun gray right now. I did pull out a little bit of Just For You Online UK um, liquid black pigment in case we just needed to darken it up. But that's silver, silver. So we're just going to go ahead. And 16 ounces will probably take quite a bit of mica. And it is my understanding that you can add as much mica to your resin as you like without it, um, you know, hindering your strength of the resin once it cures. But you just have to be careful with the liquid pigments or the paste pigments that you add because they can make a big difference if you put in over 10% of your resin into you know over 10 percent into your resin that's a beautiful silver but it's still quite opaque and i want it black 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 beautiful shimmer oh do i dare add a little black i'm going to estoyo please forgive me if i just add a little bit of black um liquid resin dye that's what this is this is from just for you online uk and i these were the first colors i'd ever purchased when i started resining and i God, they've lasted quite a long time i'm gonna go 10 drops whoops that was a squirt 
one more little, there we go. Well, who's counting? When it condenses within the mold, I'm sure it will become opaque, but that's very pretty. Look at the pearl in that. I do think that's gorgeous. Oh, we're getting there. Look at that. It's blackening up. Pretty, pretty. And look at the bubbles. Gone. I do like this resin. So, you know what? I'm going to put one more little squirt of that in there, and I think we're good to go. Don't fall in. Here we go. Well, that wasn't much. That's a good squirt. Okay. I do need to use this. I don't know what the life shelf life is on that die, but that's gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, yes. Look at that. Now that's opaque. That's going to be beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Let me grab the mold. Now, it took some time, definitely, to clean my edges, but with my micro brush and cotton buds, as you call it, if we can't use brand names, cotton swabs. Oh, look at the colors. Let me raise you just a little bit so we can see it all. Here we go. Oh, don't jerk. Is that as high as it goes? Oh, I have to go to the next section. There we go. Sorry. Look at that. I'm going to move my camera over. Look at all those beautiful bubbles and beautiful colors. Here we go. All right. Then I'm going to cover it with a big bowl. I have a big bowl. I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to put it on my dryer, which is right behind me, uh, with the door shut. But I'll have to level it and make sure it's level because that's the only safe place I really have to put something this large aside to cure. So let's get this on here. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, it's gotta be good. Now, I'm not sure if I, I don't wanna really directly pour into, you know, where the mic is at. Hmm. And the more I look, I'm gonna see little flaws, but that's me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it bother me. Let's find a spot right here where it can just flow. Maybe if I just follow the white part of the mold. So I'm not pouring directly on that. Oh, I can't wait to see this. And I'm gonna time it today. I'm gonna check it probably within the next two hours or so. It'll probably take, I'm thinking, maybe four hours before it's cured enough to where I can go ahead and place it in a bowl. And that will be a first for me. Definitely. Oh, look at that go. Oh! The magic of resin. I hope that's enough. I could probably make this a quarter of an inch thick by looking at the edge of the mold. I'm going to need more. Oh my goodness. Google, you fooled me. You messed with my mind. Look at that. I can see where this board and this table is not level. Just a second. Let me get that lifted with a stick for the time being. I want it to go over. Well, maybe, you know, look at that. I have to do this other edge. And I'll, I'll set it here for a while before I try to move it to the dryer. That's really unlevel, but I'm on a countertop. Go figure. Here's an emery board, let's see. That is just enough. <gasps> Look at that. Ta-da! It's got to go.
go that way a little bit, but oh my word. This is it, everyone. This is such a big deal to me. <laughs> oh, it is, it is. I don't know if Julie watches my channel, but if she does, I hope she's proud. I'm going to send her a picture anyway. She has a Facebook group, too, pouring your heart out. I haven't been on there for a while, but I will definitely share this. And I will put Estoyo's link in my description uh, under this video because they did give me a discount code, which was so kind of them, and I'm so excited. And I thank them ever so much. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. Mm, did I say 19? 18 ounces. Yes, I did 18 ounces. Okay. There it is, everyone. I've got a big bowl. I'm going to cover that up. Check for bubbles. I actually don't see any, but I can carefully go around the edge with a new micro brush real quick and because there's no mica powder up to the edge and I'm just gonna run that around slowly and let that fall back into place oh my gosh I hope I'm not touching anything Oops. So anyway, I will get back to you within a few hours. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching this far. There's the bubbles came back up. I could torch it, but I don't want to get close to the edge of this mold. And I don't want to put isopropyl spray on it. Well, I guess I can because this will be the underneath of the bowl because when we bold it, when we mold it up, the bubbles are going to be on the inside. So, oh, that's exciting. All right, everyone. I'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's been eight hours. I had this covered, but I think I, if I would have had better airflow underneath, it might have uh, got to this point sooner. But here we are. This is me. Hello. I'm, you know, my my beautiful self when I do videos in my pajamas. My hair is pulled back, and oh, I can touch this, and it feels so glassy and so nice. I think we're ready. I think we're ready now. If I can do this without really fumbling or marking it up too badly. Oh, I hope I've got this. Oh, don't stick there. Come on, get out. I hope I've got this. Um, oh, if this was a cleaner surface. Oh, oh, let's do this. Well, I'm afraid to. I don't want it to land on that board. I've got some plastic right here. Maybe I should just flip it over and go that way. <laughs> first for me, first for me. All right, here we go. I can get it out. Come on, baby, do it for me. Oh, I've been anticipating this all day. Come on. You're going to come out of the mold? Come out of the mold. It wants to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my word. <gasps> oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, dear Lord. This is something else. Take my time, take my time. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> there it is. Oh, I, I don't know. I think I just 
bent a bubble. Oh God, I bent a bubble. Maybe I should have waited longer, but look at it. Oh, I've got some weird things happening. Can you see these right here? I don't know what happened. Did I press too hard? That is Bubble City color. Oh my best thing ever. All right. Ooh. The pinks and orange stain my mold a little bit. But okay. I've got this big it's the only bowl I had, this big old Tupperware bowl. And I think I pressed too hard when I flipped it over. Maybe I shouldn't have flipped it over. But I saw you. I hope you're going to be happy with this. If I can get it in. If I can just get it in. Get it to be. Oh, don't do that. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, is it about even? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's I could have waited probably a little out uh, a little bit longer, but this play this oh don't mess up right there. It's kind of folded right there. Maybe this just isn't the right size size of bowl. But it's all I have. And no matter what flaws and all sliding around I am going to grab looks a little thicker on this side oh I probably should have waited a little bit but look at that I'm afraid to push down Ugh. Julie look at that I need a ruler do I have one in here oh geez oh, here we are all right all right we're gonna try and get this Okay, there's two and a half. There's two and a half. I'm measuring here, so what I'm doing. I'm going down like this. Two and a half on the edge. Oh my God, did I do that right? Push that a little bit. Around. I think I guesstimated pretty good. <gasps> oh my that part there. Oh, I'm bummed about that, but push, push, push. That's a little high. What's this a little high? No, it went in there so nice. Oh my gosh, it did. Now, I don't know if I can get rid of There's ripples. See right here, this area kind of ripply and distorted a little bit. They kind of went overly, but oh, if I can fix that, I don't know. I hope I didn't shift things two and a half. Oh, lovely. Oh my God. I should have waited just maybe 15 minutes. I don't know how else we can fix that. It dents in there. I wonder if I can, oh, right there, darn it, just right there. I wonder if it's going to pull the bubbles down because of its weight. That I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, heavens. You know what, if I can't get this level here, if it doesn't come out, it's not going to, I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and sand the best I can. I don't think that's going anywhere. I can just smooth it in, push it back a little bit. The boys want out. It's nighttime. It's almost 10 o'clock p.m. here. And they have a rule. Everybody's in at night time. Oh, I feel bad. It's pulling them. They're drooping. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. Jeez, all that work and I didn't. But you know what? It's going to have a weird effect. It's going to have wrinkles. 
because it's pulling and it doesn't matter and I'm afraid to as long as the bottom's down okay that's it oh my goodness I'm gonna cover it in the morning we'll see where we are oh it's pulling ripples down let me finish doing that it's pulling itself down Maybe the ripples will just be on the top colors. Oh, I hope Estoyo understands my first try to bowl. This is special. And, uh, yeah, it's going to pull itself down. But what a, what a creation. Okay, I'll quit babbling, but oh, just that little area, darn it. But if the rest pull themselves down, like, look at the wrinkles, see? If the rest pull themselves down, they might just not be the perfect bubbles, but... Okay, Billy, get over it. Get over your... Get over it. It's different. Oh, my gosh. I should have... Oh, if I only would have waited just a little bit. I was afraid to wait. I just didn't know how long it could wait, but there it is. There is this beautiful bowl with, I think there was, I used the black, so there was a silver gray and a gray, and I think that's the only two colors. Maybe there's three colors I didn't use, but hopefully that'll, oh, that bums me out right there. But it's art. Thank you so much. I will be back in the morning. Well, wait a minute. I've got to get ready for that show tomorrow and set up. But when you see this, I hope you love it. And I will finish it off with, uh, we're going to do some silver trim. Let me just, I keep double checking this, hopefully, hoping it doesn't shift. I think it'll be okay. Thank you. I'll see you real soon. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. Look at this. Um, I'm sorry about the wrinkles. It The wrinkles went all the way around, but let's, I, I did loosen, I squeezed this bowl a little bit. Let's see if it'll just pop out. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. So my plan is to, oh gosh, look at the wrinkles. Boy, that's a good lesson to learn, but boy, I don't know. I don't know what to think, but I just hope um, Estoyu appreciates appreciates my efforts. Thank you for sending me those beautiful micas. Look at the colors. I might do this again and then pour the liquid resin with the micas in the bubbles. But for the time being, so I can finish this, I'm going to sand. I'm going to go out and use my Dremel sander and take down these edges so they're nice and maybe match up the best I can with this area and then I'm going to uh, grab my silver testers paint go around the edges and uh, it's it feels cool it really feels cool this is the bowl this is my very first bowl I learned a lot thank you uh, for watching everyone let me get back to you while I'm painting and I'll show you it completely finished but for right now I need to finish getting ready for my next my big craft show I, I was setting up today that's why I'm behind so I'll get back with you as soon as I'm ready to paint this okay have a great day bye hello everyone I hope you're doing well I'm back I've got the bowl all sanded around the edges and I think it looks pretty good. Um, where was, see the bad, that bad area, the big dent was right here. But hopefully I can cover that up and we'll make this look gorgeous because oh, it's, it, the colors are stunning. I love the colors. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my tester silver paint. And uh, this is an older bottle. But um, when you get your tester's paint, normally if you get a kit, they give you another small bottle with um, acetone in it. And I've used that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some acetone 
this is just in a nail polish bottle but it's it's 100% acetone and that's what you use to clean your brushes soap and water is not going to work for these because they're um, what's the word I want they're not acrylic they're not water based they're they're a lacquer so I'll keep that aside to clean my brush as I go and my brush is a I like the little beveled brushes with the this one doesn't have a straight edge but a little bit of a slant to it and I think I'm out of this type of brush but uh, I've used this one quite a bit it's great for um, you know thin or thick lines but let's just see what happens oh and I was gonna say you probably could use your um, deco art pens the silver but with these rough edges here um, just because it's this particular you know situation these rough edges uh, paint I think will fill in quicker and faster or that makes sense right quicker and, and or faster quicker and easier to get into these um, little grooves and they'll f the paint will fill them in smoother I think so you won't see so much of them but I'm just going to get going here I did shake this and I also stirred it with a pop stick uh, to make sure it's mixed up real well because the paint will settle to the bottom so you need to be sure and um, shake that real well so let's just give it a go and I will fast forward this I'm going to go right to the outside edge for now and uh, I think I'll come back and see how close to this edge I need to be maybe we'll just turn it over and slightly go like that and there's a ridge of paint I want that gone so this will be it this will be it it dries nice it works well on resin it's waterproof and uh, I have links for my testers paint in my descriptions below You do need to let this dry thoroughly and it takes a bit it takes a bit of time it's not an instant dry situation so don't stick your fingers in it or you'll have it everywhere <laughs> been there done that it might be wider in some spots and narrower in the other that's okay gold would have looked nice too actually any color would have looked nice but I like the silver and I think the reason I want went with the silver is the sheen of the mica powders with the light they look a bit more silver to me so that's why I decided to go this route there we have it beautiful uh, beautiful bowl with beautiful colors from Estoyo and I hope I say that right thank you Estoyo for sending me these beautiful micas I have a link in my uh, description box and I believe they gave a discount code for me so if you're interested in 36 beautiful colors of mica look look into this because they're beautiful and the um i did look at the price and they're very reasonable very reasonable and you get a lot a lot with with the entire set 
So, I hope you enjoy this one. I'll take a quick uh, couple of still pictures, get my video edited, and please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take good hair. Take good hair. Yes, Billy, speak proper. Take good care. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Big hugs. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.